Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do something I've never done before. We're going to do a full face of Bare Minerals makeup. Never tried Bare Minerals, but one of my coworkers swears by Bare Minerals. Swears by. That's all she wears, that's all she talks about. So for my birthday, like last month, we went to the mall and there's a Bare Minerals store. She brought me in and... I ended up leaving with this whole like kit that they were having on sale for um, Black Friday because my birthday was the week after. And so they had like all of their leftover Black Friday deals still going on. So got this whole little kit for super inexpensive. It's I talked about it more like pricing wise and what I got um, in my Black Friday haul. So I'll link that video down below because I don't remember the price of everything, but it was like a really good deal. And I got like seven full-size products I think so I still haven't used them it's been a month it is time I love the idea of the bare minerals makeup line because it's just like clean makeup it's very natural and I don't do like crazy glam every single day like I don't there's no need for me to so I figured bare minerals would be a good brand for me to try um I am nervous though because she had me get the Bare Minerals, um, they're like original foundation, like the powder foundation, and I'm terrified because it's a powder foundation, but apparently it's like a hydrating powder foundation. I'm very confused by it all, honestly. Um, we're going to see how it goes, but I do have the Prime Time Foundation Primer, the original. Um, I have their Dew Mist, the setting spray. So we should be okay. She told me I should be fine. She told me I would love it. Um, I have pretty much everything to do a full face. I already did my brows because I did not have a brow product. So I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And then I've been using this Maybelline Brow Drama um, Sculpting Brow Mascara. And I think it's so funny that I've been using this because I put mascara on my brows the other day as a brow gel. Not the other day, probably like a month ago. And I loved it. And I was like, oh my god, they should do this for brows. And then I like walked into Walmart and I was like, okay, that's weird. I didn't know this existed. So now I use actual brow mascara. Anyway, I also don't have a concealer. So I'm going to use just the one that I've been using. I've been using the Morphe one underneath the Sephora Compact. So that's what I'm going to do with this. So it's kind of going to be like a little first impressions type of thing. But anyway, let's get into it and see how this goes. I'm going to start out with the Bare Minerals Prime Time Original Foundation Primer. Um, it just says apply a thin layer all over face and allow to dry. Follow with Bare Minerals Foundation. Sounds easy. Oh, it's a, um, it's a squirty. I thought it was going to be like a spray. Okay, I guess that makes sense. It's a primer. Come on, Jalen. First pump and it came out. I love that. I hate when I'm sitting here like pump, 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 and nothing comes out. Okay, so I did one. I just did one pump because it just says a very thin layer. Um, it feels pretty like smooth, but it also feels very silicone-y, like, um, like a pore filling primer. All right. Hopefully it's hydrating. All right. So now I'm going to take my Morphe concealer. And I really haven't been using a whole lot of uh, concealer. This is pretty much all I've been doing. All right, so there's that. So now she shade matched me in the store. The Bare Minerals employee did. She shade she she shade matched me as fairly light, which I thought was pretty light because I've never bought a shade this color. But I am pretty pale right now, so it's literally like I don't even live in Florida, honestly. Like I don't even have fake nails, and I can't even pull this thing open. Oh my god. My camera's gonna die. Crap. Okay. 
So I'm just going to take it on this BH Cosmetics brush, which is brand new. I've never used it. I got it on actually Black Friday as well. I'm just going to tap. I don't, I'm not. I guess I'm going to tap some of this into the lid. Now, I can't imagine this is going to be super full coverage because it's powder, right? I would be right to assume that. I don't really know. All right, let's just. Oh, it's like, um, got kind of like a sheen to it. Okay, so yeah, it's super, super light coverage, um, which I mean, it's a powder foundation, so I'm really not surprised, but it's like kind of a glowy, I don't know that it's hydrating, but it's glowy, like, I feel like I don't even need highlighter with this, which is really, really bizarre. I don't really know if you can build this up or like, what, because I feel like if you build it up, it's going to look cakey but okay so I guess this is okay okay I'm just gonna spoolie out my eyebrow real quick okay so that's actually very pretty it's very very natural looking which is exactly what I expected um again I don't know that I would say it's hydrating it's not super drying. I mean, I've worn dry, more drying foundations, even in like a liquid form. So I guess it's really not that bad. Um, so, okay. We're, we're getting somewhere. So now I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Faux Tan. Everything all over my hands. The Bare Minerals Faux Tan all over face color effect yeah okay it's in this little compact here I don't actually know how to open this all right I'm just gonna take this Sonia Kushik Sonia Kashuk brush put some bronzer on it I guess and This bronzer looks dark for me, but it came in that kit, so like, this is what we're working with. Okay, it's actually super, super pretty. And I'm not dipping right into the container, I'm dipping into the lid. Just kind of to be safe, because I don't want to overload the brush with product, but it is really, really pretty. It's pretty warm for my face right now, but it's honestly like, let me adjust my lighting. Oh, that's much better. Sorry. Um, I don't know. You guys, I think I really, really like it. I don't think it's going on in like patchy either, which is awesome. But I really like it. Okay. Now let's move on to some blush. The only thing I did get in this kit that I'm actually not going to be using is the Mineral Veil Powder. Because I don't want to use powder on top of my powder foundation. Just because I really want to see how the foundation itself wears. Um, but I will try the Mineral Veil if you guys would like. Like a first impressions. I know so many people have tested out the mineral veil so I didn't think that was super crazy important this blush oh it's really cute it's in the shade hint it looks like it might be pretty pigmented so let's see oh 
it's very pretty. Now, is this a thing? No, I don't know. Remember, I've never used bare metals. That their products are pretty, like, got a nice little sheen to them, like, in general, because I don't even know that I need a highlight. Like, this is just the blush and the bronzer and the foundation. Do I literally need a highlighter? No. Oh my god. The blush is um, not as pigmented as I thought it was going to be, but it has a beautiful glow. So, of course, I just keep packing it on my cheeks. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Oh, okay. <laughs> Turn it down. Okay, so I really, really like that blush. I love it. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the Bare Minerals Highlighter. Um, Endless Glow Highlighter in the shade Free. It's like this little gold. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think the mirror is totally messing with it. Um, but it's a very gold highlight. So let's see. Oh my god, this blush, you guys. That highlighter. Okay, Bare Minerals. I'm like tap tapping into the compact. And I'm like, I'm pretty like blown away. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I was not expecting to enjoy these products as much as I am right now. Holy crap. So I didn't put a whole lot of the highlighter on only because the blush is so glowy, like, but I don't have, um, like a face or a face palette, a, um, eye palette by them. I just have these two little standalone shades. Um, I'm going to use the shade Nude Beach. I'm just going to put it all over my lid since today's like not really about like the look. It's about the products and me like testing them out and seeing what I think and the whole spiel. So I'm just going to use my finger. I'm going to dump some into the lid, actually. Ooh. Oops. I'm just going to put some of this. It's like a very shimmery shade. It's really pretty. I'm going to put it all over my lid. Oh, okay. All right, so that shade is incredibly pretty on the lids. I love it. It would be really, really pretty with like a little bit, if I would do like a little bit of bronzer or something or a little bit of a deeper shade in the crease and then top that with that, be very pretty. So then I have this Bare Minerals Matte Lipstick in the shade Boss. And then I have a gloss I'm gonna put over top of it. It smells like chocolate. This pimple here on my face is really getting in my way. Okay, really enjoy that color, actually. I thought I was going to think it was a little too dark, but I like it. Okay. And then I'm going to put the gloss in the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Gloss in shade Girl Boss. So I have Boss and Girl Boss. Okay. And it's, like, very pinky. Okay, that's actually really pretty over top of this. Now, the last thing I have is the Bare Minerals Lash Topia Mega Volume Mineral Based Mascara in the shade Ultimate Black. So, let's pop. Whoa, this is huge. Literally, such a big brush. I don't know how I feel about that. First of all, okay. It's like super intimidating. I 
All right, so that mascara is um, nothing super crazy. It's very natural looking. It's a really nice separating mascara though, so I would definitely use it as like a first layer almost a underneath, above, underneath another mascara. Um, but that's it for this video, you guys. I, just kidding. We have the Dew Mist. Hello. Okay. Oh, oh, that's weird. It has this big cover and then it has a little cover. Why? I don't know. Does someone have the answer for me? Oh, I'm so scared. I hate new mists. I'm so glad I tested it because the first spray was, spray was like, it was like a line drive for my face. Okay. Okay. It actually sprays out quite nicely. The first spray was a little terrifying. I was a little worried. Okay, but now that is it for this video. I love. I'm pretty excited because I'm really enjoying the whole look so far. They look so, it looks so good. It's so natural looking, but it's also so like just pretty, you know what I mean? Um, which I feel like is totally like what Bare Minerals is about. So that's it, you guys. I, first impressions, love. The foundation honestly doesn't even feel that drying anymore. It feels just kind of like normal. Like I know I have makeup on my face though, because I think it's a powder foundation and I have so many other powder products. But it's not like an uncomfortable feeling at all. So far the lipstick feels okay and I think it'll feel pretty good because I have that lip gloss over top too. Um, so I guess I'm not going to really find out how drying it really is. But the lip gloss is a little tacky, a little tackier than I would like. Um, but it's nothing crazy so we'll see how I guess the rest of the day goes. Oh, okay. I know I said I wasn't going to do a wear test with this, but I feel like it's worn really, really well throughout like the entire day. I don't, I'm so surprised. Like obviously I will never find anything that does not fit into my smile lines or into my little confused, what? lines up here. I don't even know what you call those. They're not forehead wrinkles, but they're what, like eye between between your eye wrinkles? I don't know. Um I had lunch. The lipstick the lip gloss came off obviously. But the lipstick like has done a really good job. It is five. It is exactly five o'clock and I filmed at noon. Probably right around noon. Um and it honestly looks so freaking good. I'm gonna have glasses lines obviously but so you guys can kind of see how everything is wearing. I'm literally so obsessed. I love it. I love everything. And um, that's about it. I will see you tonight on a final check-in that I didn't think I was going to do. All right, you guys. It is 9.20. I've had this on for like nine hours. I checked in with you at 5.00. And my camera battery is dead and I forgot to charge it while I was out doing things. But I've been running around all day, did grocery, did like 17 loads of laundry, cleaned, all kinds of stuff. And honestly, I don't know if my phone is going to pick this up as well, but like it's held up really well. It came off a little bit on my nose, like you can see here. And then up on my forehead, it's kind of breaking up. I don't know if you can really, really tell, um, but it's breaking up a little bit. But honestly, it's not looking bad at all. Um, I was like laying on the couch, like watching videos, scrolling, shopping on Amazon. So I've pretty much done everything you can possibly do. Um, the eyeshadow, I'm not a huge like diehard for. Maybe if I do it like with a whole look, it might be a little bit different. But I feel like it's just like 100% come off. But I do feel like I'm still pretty glowy. Um, it's broken up where my glasses are, but that's normal. It's like glasses wearers problems, you know. Um, lipsticks is gone, but it's been nine hours. I have not reapplied it once. So, you know, it's, it's seen better days. The mascara did not like flake. It didn't like 
do anything. It didn't run, nothing. So that was really, really cool. Um, I definitely will probably keep using this foundation. I'm so shocked at how much I loved it because it's a powder foundation. I was so scared of it. I like didn't want to buy it. I didn't want to try it. I've had it for a month and I was so scared to try it and now I love it. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions turned wear test, I guess, of a full face of Bare Minerals. Um, if you guys want to see more videos like this, holla at your girl. Let me know. I love doing wear tests. I love doing first impressions because I just get so excited and really, really upset when something doesn't work and really, really excited when something does work. That That's what I was trying to say. Um, so let me know. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!